Hello everybody, I'm Billy the Crafty Floridian and uh, I live in Florida and um, on the west coast, west coast of Florida, not the west coast of the United States. People rib me all the time about that. And I just got back last Saturday from a big adventure, a wonderful vacation with a lot of the YouTube podcasters and it was fantastic. I did a little slideshow of some photos that were sent or was online that I could pick out of and sort of told you who was what and who was where or all that stuff. But I just thought I would do it overall. A lot of people have been doing videos and they've been telling you bits and pieces, but I want to straighten you all out. Because I see somebody will ha uh, show you something, they say, oh, this is from so-and-so. I'm going, no, 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 that's not, no. And then they show a pen thanking me. Well, I didn't give any pens. I didn't buy any pens. No, 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 no. And then when I was putting out my stuff to show you, I'm going, I have no idea who gave me this or who gave me this or that or whatever. It's, I got a lot of toys, a lot of play toys, guys, a lot of toys. So it's. Everybody else got, you know, yarn and yarny things and all that kind of stuff. And what do I get? Play toys. I got a lot of play toys. And I love them. I love them. Wait till you see them all. If you haven't seen them already. But I thought I'd just do a recap. First of all, all of these people that I'm going to mention to you do have, um, a, do have a channel on YouTube. Uh, there were 17 people. Um, two of them did not stay in the house. And so that went to 15 and then only one part-time. And that made a total of 14 full-time visitors to this house. The house was called the Big Top on St. Armand's. You can enter the Big Top, Google it, and you can see a picture of it and take a virtual tour and all that good stuff, which we did, or which I did, because I was the planner. And um, so I did a virtual a tour of the whole place and videoed it so that all the people that were going could uh, get some idea of what we, what we had paid into. It was a six bed, a six bedroom, um, six and a half baths. Everybody had their own bathroom. Every room had their own bathroom. We even had some extra beds. Um, we had the trundles that came out on two of the bump bed rooms. And we even had a, um, a fold out couch, uh, a queen size fold out couch in the uh, gathering room. I'm going to call that the gathering room because it's a combination of living room, kitchen, and dining room. The uh, dining room uh, set 12 people. 12, yeah. That's how it was the whole, you know, practically the whole length of the of the great room was a dining room table. We had a balcony off of the uh, dining room table. We had a pool. We had a spa. We had a foosball. We had a, um, a pool table. Uh, there was even a tele there was a television in every single room, even down where the pool and the foosball there were there were TVs, and they all had the smart TVs, and you know you could get Netflix and that kind of stuff. So there was nothing that we didn't didn't have, and if we didn't have it and needed it, we went out and bought it. <laughs> so and we all contributed um, to a fund for food and the essentials that we needed. I had, um, I was in charge of that, of the money, because we never knew, no, we never knew if we would need bail money. I mean, it came really close one time. So uh, there were certain restrictions, you know, like uh, uh, no loud noises after 10 o'clock. Um, there were sensors on the, sensors in the house for, for noise. And if it happened, it would notify the rental company that we rented the house from. It would notify them, and then they would get in touch with me and so on and so forth. So um, we did have an incident where uh, you could not park on the sidewalk. You had to be in this uh, 
uh, I guess it was like a, uh, a wall and had the driveway where well, you had to be inside of it. If you didn't, well, I got a call. Someone was parked on the sidewalk. That was, and that is the local police that uh, reported that. And what I found out was the fine was like either 65 or 125, I guess it depends how long you stayed. So, you know, I had to step up and say, if you're a visitor, because we had visitors at that time, if you're a visitor, then you need to park on, you know, around the corner in the little parking area or somewhere, but not, not in our driveway. Because we had people there, we had four cars that were there all the time, mine and Nancy's and JoJo's and um, Cindy's. So our four cars were there. My little car would, I, I, I just pulled it way up and it would, you know, it'll fit anywhere. So anyway, the the people that were there was Trisha, um, Mama Swift, uh, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, Sandy, Left is Right Crochet with Sandy, Jax from Creation by Jax, and Trisha was from California, Laura was from Alaska, Sandy was from Missouri, I believe, Jax was from Washington State. Mary Ann was from North Carolina. Mary Ann, the crotchety clogger. Lynette, charm granny crochet. She was from Ohio, I believe. Nikki, addicted to, addicted to love. No, that's not right. Addicted to love. I guess so, addicted to love. Nikki lived in California. Uh, JoJo from Joe's Web. She lives in Louisiana. Karen, a yarn addict with Karen. She lived in Georgia. Amy, crocheted adventures with Amy, I think, was Michigan. Nancy, she's got yarn too, lives in Florida. It's like she lives like a few hours from me. So um, hopefully we'll get together um, uh, very soon. I love her. Just love her. Sherry, Sherry's bag of holding. She lives in Palmetto near Sarasota. So she didn't stay at the house. She stayed at home. She had she has certain um, uh, issues. And so uh, it, she could only come and stay during the daytime. So she came a couple of times. Melly from Sweet Melissa Makes and More. Now Melly is from Texas. Cindy Freeze Bay's Fiber Frolic is from Florida. She She's from the more to the Middle East eastern part of Florida. Julie kept in stitches. Julie lives in Arizona near Sedona. Ooh, I love that place. Uh, Crystal, coffee, crochet, and cuddles. She go, she lives everywhere. I think she's originally from, she might be a Mass, Connecticut or Massachusetts, but she lives up in that area. Seagal from Israel was going to come. She had was scheduled to come, but she had a family um, uh, emergency, so she she had to withdraw. So these are the people that stayed with us that week, and it was very, 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 very fun time. And I'll tell you, it was so nice to meet these ladies. Um, they come from all different walks of life. You know, they have married, with kids, not have kids, age group, I'd say from 40 to 76. I was the, the matriarch. Of, I was the oldest of the, of the crowd. But first of all, before I go into any more, I have some special thank yous. I want to thank Nancy from <clears throat> Addicted to Yarn, Addicted to Yarn or something. Anyway, I, I'm not going to remember these names. I had to write them all down because I can't remember the name of the channel. Uh, Nancy lives here in Florida in Spring Hills or near Gainesville someplace. And um, I cannot tell you how much help she was to me. Um, it almost brings tears to my eyes because um, it was a lot of work. And I had been planning this since we started and I don't know how far that back April May April March April sometimes back in that that time period a good six seven months we've been
planning this. And um, so there was just so many things to work out. And then at the last minute, kind of last minute things, you know, like going to the grocery store. I went to the grocery store, planned for the food for that, for the Saturday night. And, but I didn't get to the liquor store. So uh, Nancy was kind enough to do the shopping for me on that. And all week long, she cooked breakfast. She brought shrimp. Oh, they were delicious. I still have some in my freezer. And she brought shrimp that her dad or uncle caught or whatever. And it was delicious. And she fixed scallops. And I mean, every time you turn around, she was cleaning, picking up cleaning the kitchen, doing the dishes in the dishwasher. And I just marveled at how much she took off of my back. Really. I just, Nancy, I love you immensely. And I thank you so much for everything that you did. Because it was, um, it was a lot of people, a lot of stuff going on. And it was just so nice to have somebody pick up somebody else's glass or you know, dish or whatever, and put it in the dishwasher. And I know I was at fault at it sometimes. Well, a few times. Um, but it just, I, 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 I don't think we could have done it without her, to tell you the truth. It, she was just marvelous. The second person I'd like to really thank is Mary Ann from North Carolina. She was our Chinese laundry lady. If you put a towel down, don't even think you're going to see it again because she's picked it up and she's put it in the washer. She kept up on the beach towels and the towels, so I called her my Chinese laundry lady. Um, it, it was so nice to have people have the foresight to know that when you rent a house, with a, when you rent a house, there's the certain things that you need to stay on top of. So, Marianne, mwah, a big kiss to you, my darling. Thank you so much for everything that you did. I really, really appreciate it. My third thank you goes to Karen. Karen, I know that you and I went to the grocery store two or three times after we got there. And you know, I had already gone 14 times before that. But she was kind enough to offer to go to the grocery store with me uh, to pick up platters and uh, we then we went back and we picked up some um, uh, stuff for sandwiches, you know, the next day or whatever. But we went like like every day was an adventure at the grocery store. And I think Karen and I were on first name basis. I know Karen was on first name basis with the checkout people and especially the guy at the um, the deli. We we had them all down. Right? But a special thank you, Karen. I didn't know you very well before, but I really, really appreciate meeting you and getting to know you and your husband who showed up on our last night. Um, the other thank you, of course, is to Sandy for writing and directing um, our murder, murder mystery night and all the planning that went into that and all the brochures, everything that she did. And... Um, she was the director and the producer and the writer. She did all of that. And I just a special thank you for even suggesting doing something like that. It was great. Everybody uh, were in costumes. And I, of course, was the uh, tarot card reader, you know, the gypsy or whatever you want to call it. I was a woman of the world, as they say. Um, so I just, I really, really thank you, Sandy. And my last thank you goes to Tricia for fixing the best meal I've had in many, many years. It was, well, you know, you know, I used to work close to the, you know, with the big wings up on the hill in Washington, D.C. And we'd go to fancy restaurants all the time and have, you know, the 14 courses of meat. Well, it's the first time I've had that in a long, long time. And I really, really really enjoyed it. The food was phenomenal. It was delicious. And the cheesecake, I had cheesecake and it didn't have that real thick uh, crust on it. It was just a real light crust and the cheesecake wasn't real so rich that you, you know, it was perfect. It, it was delicious. I enjoyed it immensely. 
And these are the, you know, there's a group of people there that just kind of stepped in and just um, did their thing. And I just, I really appreciate it. It really took a lot off of me. Um, we had a couple couple of incidents. Uh, Sandy broke her toe uh, over um, a suitcase of Cindy's. And Cindy knows, she knows I, I would say this. I mean, we talked about it. But anyway. And uh, the other was Amy. She had a wound that she had before, and she needed that attention to that wound. wound. So I took her, and we went to the emergency room, and they kept her overnight. And um, she's doing well. She had an appointment with the wound care doctor on Monday when she got back. So she's doing fine. But she did have a bad infection. So uh, that was taken care of. And then we had bad backs, headaches. Couldn't walk. Neuropathy. <laughs> Look at the group of women that you have. 60, 70 year olds. Even the 50 year olds. You know, your bad back. Everything hurts. It was a riot. It was like, I'm telling you, if you went into every room and got all the drugs, you'd probably have a big tub full of drugs. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was hysterical. And you had diabetics. I mean, you just had a variety of women with issues. And I think that's like, you know, when you get to that age, issues are going to start popping up, the old health issues. But, you know, you think about it, it's kind of funny. I mean, I'm not laughing at the issue, but it's just funny that they're all gathered together, you know. And then we had um, uh, several women in, in wheelchairs and uh, scooters and all that stuff. But it's just the variety of women, and it was just absolutely wonderful, just wonderful. Um, and you know that a lot of planning goes into this. And if you plan an event like this, this is like, it wasn't like a retreat or a yarn retreat or anything like that. It was basically a vacation. So a lot of these people have never been like to Florida or never been on vacation outside of the, maybe their state or whatever. So it was um, it was it was it was nice to be able to plan things that maybe open their eyes or see things in my area, you know, in my hometown here. So, um, but if you ever plan uh, something like this again, I would suggest that things that you do, you need that you're going to do for the group or whatever, that you report it to the event planner. So that she has some idea of what is needed to fulfill whatever you want to do. And most of the ladies did, and some didn't. So it, it was, you know, it's interesting how it all came together and it worked out great. I mean, everything just fell right into place. Um, Saturday, we all arrived and it was a bunch of hugging and a bunch of kissing and all that good stuff. We were able to get in the house and, uh, like an hour earlier. And the other girls had come in, a bunch had come in on Friday night. And then I had, thank God for Nancy. And C Cindy had a handicap car that she could, had a lift to put scooters and wheelchairs and all that stuff in. And Nancy and JoJo, the three of them did the pickup. Um, there was no use for me to cut. My car was completely packed. In fact... <laughs> In the passenger seat, I had the suitcase. I had a little suitcase because I put most of my clothes in a laundry basket, right? So I had this little suitcase and piled up. Everything in the front seat piled up. And I had to kind of lean to the side to drive. That's how packed my car was. So anyway, the, the realtor people called and said, hey, I, you can get in earlier. So we got in a little early and I called the girls. And they were having lunch at um, Cracker Barrel. So the gang started rolling in. So that was kind of nice. Um, that was Saturday. And then Sunday I made a plan for uh, a group of girls to go on Le Barge, Le Barge Cruise, which is just a boat that they take you around in the Gulf and, and uh, see the sunset and all the houses and all the things like that. And it's like a two-hour uh, boat cruise. There were seven girls that went. Cindy and I were going to go, but Cindy was hurting and I was hurting. So we decided 
to stay and rest. And then uh, JoJo and, and um, Nikki. Now, that's another couple you have to watch out for. Those two are engaged. And they're both married, but they're engaged to each other. That is a story of the month. So you heard it here first, right? They are engaged. And then, uh, oh, and I picked, I fixed my taco suit. That went over well. I mean, they ate it all, so I guess they liked it. Um, no one said that they didn't like it, and nobody said that they liked it. So I guess they liked it. Uh, Monday was, Monday all day was just talking and gift giving, and we did it all day. We, people in the pool, in the spa, I mean, we just, just kind of vegged out all day on Monday. Then Tuesday, they had, um, Crystal has a cousin that works at Bush Gardens. So a group of them went to Bush Gardens for the day. Well, it's, it's like, it's, Bush Gardens is like 50 some miles from where I am. But once you go through the traffic and all that stuff and then come home and, you know, you have all your time there. And Thursday was the same thing. Cindy's uh, significant other uh, worked at Universal. So he got the girls into Universal and they went to see Harry Potter. I know, I know. You know, I, I, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I've never even read a book or seen this movie or anything, but there's a lot of adults that really love Harry Potter. So that's great. That's your thing. Go with it. Roll with it, baby. And then Wednesday was our murder mystery dinner. And, of course, uh, Mary Ann and uh, Trisha were in the kitchen the whole day. You couldn't even get near the kitchen. You better go out to lunch or something because you, you need to get out of the house because that, that's it. So, um, you know, we took I took a group of girls out for um, a little, little outing. And um, we went to... I think it was Wednesday. We went to, or went Tuesday or Wednesday, we went to a German restaurant in Bradenton. And we sat outside and had German food, and the weather was beautiful. And um, it was really uh, very, very, uh, the first time I've ever eaten German food that I know of. So I left it up to Mary, Mary Ann. She's German. She has German parents. So she even talked German to the waitress. So she, took care of us as far as what we should have and stuff. And she had a German beer. Oh, my God. She let me have a, just a swallow or two. And I would have, but I was driving, and I didn't want to drive drunk. <laughs> so I passed on the beer. So anyway, it was it was good food. Um, and then I took, the, I took um, a group of girls to a place that I used to uh, show my paintings when I painted. Um, it's called Picasso Moon. It used to be this big, huge place, which they had individual um, artists, you know, spread out all through this building. Well, that's gone. And the only one was there was the Weaver. And I remember her from years ago because she's been there about eight, eight years, I think. And she gave us 50% off of all of her yarn, which she dyed and, you know, did this. Well, you know those things that you roll up. What do you call them? Skeins? Yeah, skeins of yarn. So I bought some yarn there. And I bought, I don't know why, but I bought a couple that I gave. I gave one to Karen. And I can't remember who else I gave one to. But you just you just want to give, 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 give. You know, that it was just wonderful. Um, and, of course, then on Friday was our last supper at the Beach House, which is in Anna Marie Island, which is from St. Armand's all the way down Longboat Key. And then it's on the left-hand side on the Gulf, right there. You could sit on the sand if you wanted to, but we didn't. We sat under the, the canopy. And if you see the pictures, they all look like orangey color. That's because the lighting's in there with, were like that. The waiter was to die for he had, he was eye candy, man. He had the prettiest blue eyes. So we got some pictures. I got a picture of him and me. I don't think I put it in the slide. I, you know, wanted to kind of keep that to myself. <laughs> but that was our last night. And when we got home, we were all started packing. And 
I had to get the times that people need to be at the airport. Everybody was very kind about how to get there. And uh, we had um, the help from Sherry's significant other and um, helping with the people that had, uh, uh, you know, wheelchairs and all that good stuff. So everybody was very good. We had one that got stuck, um, one that missed her flight, it took a couple of days to get home. Um, Trisha had problems with the ears and couldn't fly. So she stayed an extra couple of days and Cindy stayed with her one day. So that was, uh, hopefully Trisha got some help on that. Um, one of the sh shops in Venice, uh, which was a yarn a yarn shop that Cindy took the girls to, and that was that was interesting. So anyway, it, it was some really lifelong I think um, lifelong friendships made, and um, you know JoJo and and Nikki have known each other three or four years, and they became close on YouTube, and now they're even closer because they met in person. They were like this. I don't know if I could cross my fingers the way they... They were much tighter than crossing your fingers. And they kind of did their own thing. And I, I understand that. Uh, when you have a friendship like that, and you want to get to know each other and do things together. And that's fine. They, that That's fine, you know. Um, so I think they had a, a really good time. And they were fun. They were very kind to me. And they were very... They treated me... They did like they did my eyes with all the eyelashes and all the stuff for my part, you know, my gold, my gold hat and everything. I had my costume, but I didn't, you know, do the makeup and stuff. But they had me all. And, and JoJo did my fingernails. I had little um, flamingos on my fingernails, those street things, I guess. She put those on there. Okay, let me show you a few things. I know I got a pile of stuff here, and I don't want to take, I know you, well, you, you listened to me talk for, what, 27 minutes? Just you missed it. Well, let me show you a few things that I got. Now, this was in my car. Somebody, and I know who it was. It was Nancy. But look, this is a llama. Are you ready? <laughs> Don't make me laugh too much. She's too cute. Isn't she cute? Look at her tail. this and she put it in my car and I brought it home. Isn't she cute? I think she's adorable. It's a little llama and she's sturdy too. I mean, this is on a sturdy thing. <laughs> I mean to do that again. <laughs> Woo! She's a tough lady, let me tell you. Let me put her down. And then I, I, now some of these I, I got so much, I just didn't know. <laughs> let me cut this look at this goes down and up another flamingo is she cute i don't know who you know i'm sure that i'll figure it out once my brain stops being so busy but isn't that cool this is that cool another flamingo and then we had let me put that over there then we had these all over the house and out in the pool you put your little cup or beer or glass or whatever and they're floating flamingos <laughs> hey have you gotten the thing of the of the of the week was flamingos and then i got this little flamingo isn't he cute so cute and i think his name is Gil oh her name is gilda this is gilda let's see what this one's name is and this one is named And then I got this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Drinking his drink with his, his board. And he's got his flip-flops on. And his hat. Doesn't sing or anything. But he's gorgeous. And he's like sturdy, baby. Sturdy. I'm showing you all my... And this was sent to me by someone. And had a lollipop in it. Well, the lollipop is gone. But if you open it, you can put a lollipop right there 
and then suck on your lollipop, and that protects your lollipop. Another flamingo. Then Jojo did need this little flamingo. It's his little feathers, the long. Isn't he cute? He cute. <laughs> Another flamingo. Then, wait till you see this one. You probably you saw the pictures of it. And then I got this flamingo. <laughs> he cute with his little legs. flamingos yet <laughs> of course and then these are my tarot cards I did a great job reading these cards I did some people were like step back and said god Billy that's so true oh maybe if I turn <laughs> now let me tell you I had ordered they were tarot cards for crocheters never came I had to pre-order it never came so I had to use this. <laughs> and then I got an Aaron Lane bag. Isn't he cute? The moose. An Aaron Lane bag. There was stuff in it, but you know, I don't remember. Oh, it might have been from Julie. And then Julie gave me a furl, a J hook, and it's an orange. Isn't that pretty? Now, being a pencil ho holder crocheter, I have trouble with the furls. I, I don't, I can't seem, I think it's a bulkiness in here. And plus, when you are a pencil holder and you crochet, you really follow your yarn very closely. So it's not a lot of this or a lot of this. And this round thing was just, it kept moving on me. I, I just, Furls, I just have a problem with. So, this might most likely go into my 5K anniversary present. Isn't that? And it's a streamline. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. I love it. I got a pair of scissors. But let me show you. I got scissors. I got one, two, three, three tape measures. This has a, a bag that matches, but I can't find the bag. This has flowers on it, and then this one. I got all kinds of little stitch markers here. I got uh, uh, from New Orleans. I got myself a little umbrella. And I got my beads from JoJo. I got my alligators. Then alligators, you know, just fit right in, right? See, they got the alligators on the side. And then I got a flamingo, flamingo beads. And, oh, wow, there's so much. And then I got these earrings, flamingos, they're pink. Aren't they pretty? And then I got these flamingos. Aren't they pretty? And this. Flamingo. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And 
I got this keychain with Billy's Beaches on it, and I believe Kess made these. Kess Creations. Whoops. There we go. There we go. And let's see. Then I got an egg. An egg. A little egg. Here it is. Look at that. That's from Sandy Left. This crochet. You know, I'm not real know what all this egg stuff is and all that's heavy and all that other stuff that they do. It's like the damn it dolls. <laughs> I'm so tired of damn it dolls. And I got a flamingo tape tape dispenser with tape in it. And I got two of these. Um these were from Cindy. Cindy has a neighbor that lives down the street and makes these. And in this one, uh, Cindy had little butterfly, little butterfly buttons. Well, you know, I grabbed those right away. A whole bunch of them. She said I could have as many as I want. So I filled up my little, my little pouch with them. Cause I'll show you. And then I got erasers. And then this, whoops, this is. Was, this is Southern Skeins, and it was given to us by Laura and Julie, and it had it specially made for us. The, the color way is called Sarasota, and it's cotton decay. Cotton, it is so soft. And while we were there, I said, well, I'm going to start a project. Because I was looking into some stuff. So I started making a little skirt for Quinn. Look at this. Isn't this cute? I had picked out the pattern some time ago. Now I changed it a little bit. But, um, you know, I had started it. I had the band all done before I left, before vacation was over. And then a little bit of the skirt. And so I finished that up the other night. And I just. I think it's so cute. And this pattern, I believe, was by Lavender Chair. I'm not sure, but it might have been. And then it had a little hat to go with it. So I made the little hat. And it's all made out of cotton. Nice and cool. And they live in, in um, San Diego. So I thought cotton would be the best. Thing. So when I saw that and it's pink, I said, mm, I made. So I made, finished this off this week. Isn't that cute? Um, I'm sorry I don't have the pattern in front of me, but next time I do a video, I'll bring it out so that um, if you're interested in it, it's just so cute. She put little leotards, you know, it's just cute. My neighbor said, why don't you make those little bloomers? Well, I'm not into the little bloomers. I just, that's, that's the most I'm making on that. So, and I got a, you know, a little pen holder. I got a couple, a couple of those. I got this beautiful purple pen from Jack's. What my favorite. Isn't that pretty? And some tags from um, Lynette, I believe, and a little flamingo. And I got a book, Feeling a Surge of Creativity, right here. I might start tracking stuff, so I might use that for that. And I got some pens. In fact, two of the pens are gone because if you notice some of the pictures, the girls had these big hats. And they were going out on the labrage, you know, in the water and the, the wind blowing. I said, you better pin that hat down. So they did do that. Then I had made for everyone, um, it says, Billy's Beaches Girlfriend Week in Florida 2021. And it has, it's a little bracelet with a flamingo on it. I had some made and I have made, I had some extras made to like go into giveaways or or just to give so to you guys so that that's there to give okay and then crystal had these made for us and it says billy's beaches 2021 and then it has whoops, our name on it well on the top of this little lash um, latch lash latch were these cute little uh, stitch markers. One was a little, looks like a pina colada. 
And this one has a little dog in it, and it says coffee, crochet, and cuddles. Look at that. Oops, where are you? There. Isn't that cute? And then this one has the state of Florida on it, and it has Sarasota 2021. Let me see if you can see it, if I put it up close enough. Maybe not. It's too small. See the reddish in the there? Anyway, it says Sarasota uh, 2021. And then, of course, I'll find this little eyeglasses. It's orange on that side. Isn't that cute? So these were from Crystal. Now that I know for sure. Then I had Kess make up these little buttons for me, which I'm going to give away, put in giveaways. They're very tiny, and I'm going to have bigger ones made. But it says Crafty Florida, and it has a little flamingo on it with her umbrella. Isn't that cute? So we didn't do we, we didn't do very many, but we're going to do more. So I gave the girls some at the house. And then she sent me these gorgeous pens for my um, for my um, chain, coin purses. So I got that one and that one and the dolphin and the look at the balloon. Some of these are just and this I fell in love with. Isn't that gorgeous? And and to put it on a purple, the purple colored uh, chain purse, wouldn't that be gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if any these some of these are duplicates in the wreath there. Isn't that pretty? So thank you so much. And then that Kess sent me those. And then I sent her um just some miscellaneous. I someone had sent me these uh, charms, so I asked her if she would just uh, put them on as as uh, stitch markers for me. So let me show you. They're just like there's a macaw, and there's a seahorse, and then there it says so fresh. There's a pineapple. You see there. What is that? Birds. Bunch of birds. And then there's a another flamingo and a tree. So she put these on for me. So these you will find on your back, which I'm going to start making a lot of bags. I got so many cut out and none done. So things things are going to change. Okay. So I got at a lot of these things. See this? This one. Well, this one, I think you've seen this. This is from the Yarn Bee one. I have some of this, but I got some more. I was given some more. So I've got a lot of these. I'm going to have to make something really big out of this because I have a whole bunch somewhere, I think. Where is this it? No, I know I've got some somewhere, so I'm going to put that over there. And i got this beautiful yarn. And... It, the girls were just giving it out, and oh, there's another one. See, I got a lot of this. And I hope to pick up more knitting so that these will come really in handy. Okay. This bag was from Gina. You're not, you're not, you're not your store. What's this say? Yarn Nut Yarn Store. Knit and Crochet. Yarnnut.com. So she gifted us bag. Now, the weaver had this yarn, and I got three of them. Uh, they're called Candy Crush. It's tw 221 yards of hand-dyed superwash merino. They were 38, and she gave us 50% off, so I got three of them. What can you make with this? It's luscious. I mean, just luscious. Ugh, just look. <laughs> Then, I believe these uh, might have been from, these are from Lyanya uh, Superwash Marina Wool, number four, and they're blue. I'm not really a blue person, but I know some people that are. But, you know, you never know. I might find something really exciting to make with this. And then this, I think I picked up, I picked out 
from some from something. <laughs> anyway, so I got these two cups. Look at this. This is this gonna be pretty together. Oh gosh, the rust in here and the rust here. I have a sweater that I'm thinking of making. Knitted. And this is it. Oops, I can't show you the whole thing. So it's a free pattern. So I don't, that's all right. It's a free pattern. It's called the quarantine crop. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty in these colors? <laughs> anyway, I think I have to have like four colors, so we'll have to see. I mean, this could even this could even come in here. See? Look at that. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I just you know, I don't deal with this kind of stuff because I don't buy yarn. This was fun. This, this, this is softer than any of that. This is gorgeous. And plus, she's in town, so I have to go back and see her. She was moving that day. Oh my gosh, guys! You just don't believe it. I this back here is full of yarn. I was given this uh, ice yarn. It's that real thready looking stuff, and um, it's called Cakes Cotton Fine. It's a number two. Right here, I got two of those, and Crystal gave me a whole bag of this sweet di divinity is in plush. Isn't that pretty? And this color here, which is coral, and this color, which is like a cinnamon. What is it called? Red clay. Isn't that pretty? So these three colors are going to be gorgeous together. So that's one thing that Crystal is really good at is matching up um, yarn. Uh, seriously, she knows her yarn. I don't. I just enjoy what other people do. <laughs> then I have a whole bag of this. I was get. I love this. This is pretty. This is the mainstay anti peel. So I want to make something out of this. So see how I've never, I've never used that. And then I got a whole bunch of this, which is the ice cream, um, Lion Brand ice cream. It's a three. It says it's a baby, but you can use it for anything, I think. But isn't that pretty? So I got a whole bunch of those. And then I got some more Walmart 100% cotton yarn. I didn't know I had that. I got that. And peaches and cream here. And I got some white. And then we were able to go back and dip again. So I got <laughs> in Crystal's big bag. So I got some yarn B and I got this um, soft secret in this color. And I got a color to go with. Well, you see, it would go with this. Maybe. And then I got this green here, the darker green. Forest green in the soft secret. Isn't that pretty? So I got that because I got a big thing of orange in um, in sugar and cream. So and pink and all different colors, all different colors. Now let me put that away. <clears throat> okay. Woo! That's a lot of yarn, Mama. And this. Oh, I showed you that. Okay. And I showed you that. I showed you that. I showed you the little outfit I made and that stuff. Now, Joanne was my doll. And she came with me. She didn't go very very far away. We took her to Eidelberg's um, for, for, for lunch. That was the only place that she really went with me. Sorry, Joanne. Just didn't go out much. But Mama Swift made each and every one of us a um, beach cover-up. Of course, we didn't go to the beach. The red tide was out, so we were advised not to go to the beach. So anyway, this is mine. And I, that's the front. Yep, yep, yep. Nope, nope, yep. This is the front. No, that's the back. Here's the front. So this is the front. 
And I all I had to do was put it together while I was there, and I did the edging on it. So I put a little pico around it and around the side. But isn't it beautiful? Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. Thank you, Mama Swift. I will treasure this forever. Thank you so much. I really, really love it. Okay. I'm doing all this in one, one pop, so. Okay. Then we had the uh, elephant, the white elephant, or Santa exchange, or whatever it was. Well, every time it was my turn, I would pick a bag, and before I even got to my seat, somebody was stealing it. And it happened to me about three times. I was getting kind of ticked off. So finally, I ended up with this beautiful. These were by Jax. Jax made all these. And this is a um, a pocket a pocket shawl. Isn't it pretty? Now, um, I'm going to get a little bit more of the yarn, and I'm going to pull the pockets up just a little bit because. When I when I've tried it on, it's a little heavy, the, you know, because of the cotton. So I think if I pull the pockets up so that they don't drag so much and they, you know. But anyway, so I love it. Thank you so much, Jack. I'm glad I won it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then Jack's gave me this one for my 5,000 um, giveaway. Now, it does have a button here, and it's this. Oh, I didn't tell you who. There's tags on these on who made these, right? So the tag on this is, this is called Mainstay Cotton and Summer Night Tag Stitch Pocket Wrap by Jax. That's what this one is, whatever that means. This is a Shaw, the Crochet Crowd. Cascade Avalon Cotton, and it's uh, different colors of blue. Let's see how it cascades down, up, light to very dark. And it has a button here, so I assume that you wrap it somehow, and then you uh, put the put the button wherever you want it. But isn't that pretty? So that's going to go into my 5,000 um, giveaway. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now. Couple more things. Couple more things. I'm I'm gonna get all of this done to help me because I have got. I, uh, anyway, I bought this fabric for um, and it came it came right before I left or while I was gone for um, me Mad Mimi for her do rag. It's uh, uh, you know, what do you call them? Polar bears and uh, seals or whatever. Polar bears and seals or whatever. Isn't that pretty? So I found that and I just I had to get that for her. Now, um, Mad Mimi, you know, I make all uh, a bunch of her do-rags for. So she brought me a whole bunch of fabric. So I'll just give you a little light um, that she wants to make do-rags and bags and stuff like that. So that one, this one. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, and then this one, she bought me two of these that I could put back to back and make some small, some small uh, go-to bags. I got that right? Yeah. See, isn't that going to be pretty? Look at that. They're going to make great. So I got, I could have the same pattern on the front and the back. So we have that. And then we have the polar bears. Isn't that pretty? I've seen this, but I, I never got it. But she got it. And some more. These are like the Christmas polar bears. Isn't that cute? And then we have this, these, um, these things, octopusy. Isn't that pretty? And some turtles and some Christmas lights and some snowflakes. Cute, huh? I got so much fabric. I'm gonna have to start making blankets or something. 
I've got all kinds of plans for this, for all this fabric that I have. Now, when I got home, I got I got two. Um, let me get the other one so I won't have to lean out again. I got two little happy mails. So I'm going to share those with you. This um, is the card. This is from. Oops. Got to be careful, or I'm going to end up losing this whole thing. This is from. Um, this is from Dory. And she sent me this cat in the back. She sent me some clips. These are things she thinks that I can't, that I have to have. Clips. She said I don't have enough spoons. So she thinks I need a bunch of spoons. Eight spoons. She got me these little things here and these to go in, um, to go on my Damn It dolls if I ever make one again. I was so tired of watching those, getting those baby dolls. And she brought a little brush for Rosie. Isn't that cute? With a flamingo on it. <laughs> then I got um, just a small, another card, just a small token, it says. And this is from Sandy, Red Heart Crochet Magic. She sent me... And so I got two of these now. The Flamingo dispenser tapes. Maybe I'll put these in a little giveaway. And this. Now, I haven't done it yet. I did put the... This is a Flamingo. And this is going to join my family up here. Right there. See all my little animals that people sent me? This is a Flamingo. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay, so watch the... What the poop? It's a poop and flamingo. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandy. This is so cute. I did put the little candies in there last night. I said, I'm going to put these in there so that people can see that it's a poop and flamingo. <laughs> I have a poop and flamingo. Oh, I didn't show you. I did get another pair of scissors. And I think this has a little to it. I don't, but look, I got another pair of scissors. It has all wrapped up in cloth. So I have plenty of scissors, plenty of tape dispensers. Oh, and this, this I have to show you. It's the last thing I'm going to show. If I miss something, oh, and you know, we got tons of these pens with the flamingos. <laughs> They're all over the place. I got them all over the house somewhere. Okay. Um, Jax brought to me and she said, Billy, I want you to have these. These were my grandmother's and they're hand painted and there's four of them and you could tell they're, they've got some age on them and they're buttons that are hand painted. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They're all the same. Whoops. Well, they're all the same, as you can see. Maybe some different coloring in it, but basically the same. Can't you see those on a, like a summer sweater or something? They're beautiful. Thank you so much, Jack. I just, I want to thank all of you for all the wonderful things that you gave me. I hope that it was well worth the visit to my home state. And uh, I wish I, I, nothing but love for all of these ladies. And um, I hope they will come back and visit Florida again. If not, that they will go and uh, they are planning or going to plan for some more of these, you know, like an annual thing every year. So whether it's going to be a retreat or a vacation or whatever or where, I don't know. But um I think it's wonderful that they will continue it. So I am going to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you for bearing with me through this video. It's long, I know, and I'm sorry, but I just wanted to do it all at one time. I just didn't want to keep coming back in here with this stuff. I just want to get everything put away so I know where things are and get it out of my living room. You know, it took me quite a few trips to, to do that. 
Um, I did want to give you an update on my health. Um, they did find that there's two nodules in my uh, thyroid. Uh, the results came back. Questionable. The size has grown. There's questionable. It's very questionable, I guess you would say. So next Tuesday, I go in uh, over to the hospital, and they're going to do uh, biopsies on both of the nodules on my thyroid. It is why I can't lose weight. You know, I don't know. He said it stopped functioning. Is what he said. There's not only those two, but there's like three or so or four or whatever in each one of those. Uh, in each each side, I guess you'd say. You only have one thyroid, but it has like two sides and it's connected somehow. So anyway, so it's, if it is cancerous, it's easy. It's the easiest cancer, he said, to get rid of. It just take the thyroid out. And I guess you go on, you know, medication for the rest of your life, which is a few years, I guess. So that's it. My back is still killing me. My neuropathy is all acting up. I, I did things that I haven't done in years over the past month or so. So it's going to take me a while to get back on my feet again, literally get back on my feet again. So um, that just takes time. That's all. And um, I'm so happy that the others are recuperating <laughs> slowly, but for sure. So um, I'm just going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you uh, if you don't want to watch, please don't do a thumbs down. Just get get rid of me. Just don't don't watch me. But if you like my content, and we'll have more content coming up. I've got bags to make. I've got things to make, and um. And, you know, it's coming to the holidays. I got stuff to do. Oh, let me show you one more thing I made yesterday. What do you think? These are the yo-yos. And then I put little buttons, little buttons in the holes. And then I took some little beads that I had, just little bag beads. So, and I watched a tutorial. And this lady, she showed showed me how to, to make a star out of those beads. And it's like a Christmas tree ornament. What do you think? You like it? That was fun to make. Anyway, I thought it was fun. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. I do. I do have done a few things this week. But I'm trying to, to uh, venture into different little aspects of things. So anyway. I like this myself. I think it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, ladies. I will see, or men, whoever is watching, I see you. And um, I'll see you next time. Right now, I'm getting out of this chair because it hurts. <laughs> it hurts to sit. I'm telling you. have to be horizontal. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, ladies. Thank you so much for a great week.